How to install Spark OS based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Mi 11X, the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up, Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Spark OS official build based on Android 11 on the Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you also need to have a custom recovery installed. We are using TWRP recovery by Vashisht for the purpose of this video and how do you unlock the bootloader, how do you install TWRP recovery videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing make sure that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not and I repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Another thing make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device another important thing you need to make sure is that you are on the latest stock version of MIUI for your variant of the Poco F3 or the Mi 11 X again be on the stock version of MIUI for your variant of the Poco F3 or the Mi 11 X and how do you go back to stock from a custom ROM again video for that can also be found in the description of this video so here we are on stock MIUI version 12.5.1 based on Android 11 and this of course is the Poco F3 but do note the process will work even if you have the Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 as long as you are on the latest stock MIUI for your device. Next thing we can go into settings and then we will go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next up what are the files which you need now all the files which you need are linked in the description of this video and to install spark os on the poco f3 or the mi 11x you need only one file and this here is the file do note that google apps are baked into the file itself next thing we need to do is we need to boot into twrp recovery so for starters turn off your device and then once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo or you can also let go of the power button as soon as you feel the vibration so here it is i let go of the power button as soon as i felt the vibration and we have now booted into our custom recovery which is twrp first of all go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik and data that's it these are the only two things you need to select and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have the rom file so this here is the file which we have and of course if you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred it manually so it is in the internal storage all you need to do is select this file and then if you want to keep your recovery if you want to keep your twrp recovery make sure that this option is checked inject twrp after install if you do not check this option or if you leave this option unchecked then your recovery might be replaced so once you have verified all the things swipe to confirm flash now once the file has flashed successfully we can make sure we got no errors so here it is we are flashing spark os on the poco f3 or the mi 11x you did not get any errors in red next up it is unpacking the boot and then repacking it this is the process wherein we are keeping our custom recovery which is twrp so next up tap on the home button go into reboot and select recovery so now that we have booted back into twrp we will go into wipe of course the touch drivers do take some time to load up so you have to be patient 
so that's drivers are now loaded go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right do note that format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things and we can ignore all the errors so right now we have this unable to mount data slash media slash twrp this can be ignored and if you get any errors after wiping those can also be ignored so here it is you can see that the wipe process finished without any errors however we are getting some more errors like fail to mount system root system ext product vendor and odm all of these can be ignored just select reboot system and there it is you can see we do have the spark os boot animation on our poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we do have the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen of spark os let us go into settings and once we are in settings as always you do have the initial issue on my device wherein touch does not work we should have a random reboot and after that the touch works absolutely fine so strange but i don't know what's going on but after the first reboot i have no touch issues whatsoever so here it is we are back into spark os let us go into settings dark mode is enabled out of the box with a cool yellow accent color which does match the poco color code i guess and now we can go into about phone tap on the android version here it is version 6.0 this is your spark os version this is the official build android version of course is 11 and security patches from july which is the latest at the time of recording this video and let us check what is the launcher which we have so looks like we do not have pixel launcher let me go back into settings and then we can go into apps and notification and check for the default applications so yes they have their own launcher which is called spark launcher no pixel launcher on this build at the time of recording this video and there it is peeps that is how you install spark os based on android 11 on the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you